front. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our. And we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Brandon. Thanks. A turn to rise to the top as it's time to take you around the NFL here in Week Six. We'll get started over at the Superdome in New Orleans, and it's the Saints who are out in front. Baker Mayfield with a touchdown pass. From there, we fly north to Cleveland to check on the Browns at home at First Energy Stadium. And that one is at halftime as they lead the visiting Patriots in that ball game. Josh Jacobs, a force in that first half with two touchdown runs. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. Derrick Henry, well on his way to a 100-yard afternoon. We continue on with a check of the next-gen stats in that first half for the Niners. And they weren't able to get a whole lot done throwing the football. That'll likely be a big key if they want to turn things around in the second half. Meanwhile, for the Falcons, they too didn't throw the ball as well as they would have liked. And I think both teams would say there's room for improvement in the second half. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Fields it right around the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. And they're down on the scoreboard. Sort of a sloppy first half. And Coach Davis, if you were in the locker room, what would the message have been? I think I'd have to go with something you don't ordinarily go with in the NFL. That's a fire and brimstone. You've got to fire these guys up. Make them understand what's going on out there. They were so sloppy in the first half, too many turnovers. Tighten things up, maybe get in their face a little bit, get in their grill, and then send them back out. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Fields. He will find Davis on the left side complete. Finding room at midfield. Loose inside the 30. Inside the 10. Touchdown, 49ers. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league. Second year in the NFL. But I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that, so he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT, and the lead is down to two. That drive started on their own 25. Two plays, 75 yards later, into the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. Tavon Austin now from the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. So we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons offense now. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And even though they have that lead, it feels like a back-and-forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. He went over 100 yards in the wild card round. He's over 100 here as well. And a first down. Julio Jones here in Tennessee never really got going as he continued to battle injuries that followed him over from Atlanta. He believes he still has a couple of big seasons left in his career, and one more of those could see him climb into the top 10 or even the top five all time in receiving yards. Newton on first down. He'll let this go for the end zone. And it's knocked away and incomplete. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Throwing is Newton. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. 
They get to him for a loss of four, and it brings up third down on the sack. He's certainly one of those quarterbacks that can burn you with his mobility, but that time able to hem him in and get him to the ground. Perfect descriptor right there about how they kept him in the pocket. Excellent job of containment, but they were still able to continue to bring such strong pressure without letting him escape. But how about those guys in the secondary as well? Kept the coverage tight, plastered to the receivers, and left no real options for him to throw it downfield. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That'll be complete to Cook. And he gets this only to the 44-yard line. Not near enough to keep the drive alive. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked down and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. And they will begin with, should we call it, far from ideal starting field position, their own two-yard line. So what's your definition of ideal? The one-yard line on the other side of the field. Yes, exactly right. So yes, your definition is apropos in this case. On right, second down, it's Cook again. Well, that gives him a little room, but not much. A gain of two to the five. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on four. And the big fella stumped that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has a real priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on to punt for San Francisco. And he's able to get it out of there. Now a fair catch taken just across midfield, maybe by a yard or two. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first to 10 as they take over. Getting set to go again on offense, we get a peek at Julio Jones now. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Flush to his right. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a level shy of the first down marker. To throw is Newton. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he is going to lose yardage here. Calling a loss of two there on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. Here's Tressway now. He's been terrific so far. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Oh, Fields is intercepted for a third time. Picked off by Robert Alford. And the Falcons are going to take possession of the football. Boy, so another interception, CD. Uh, it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in the second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now 
his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his backup. Now following the interception, here's Newton. Getting this ball out wide for Davis. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. To throw again on second down. Newton, and this is Cook with a grab. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Here's Newton. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. Koo knocks this one through the post. And that will push the lead up to five. So three points and a response there to that opening touchdown in this third quarter. And that's an important three, both in terms of adding to your lead, but also letting the other guys know you're not going to just come out in the second half and take over. Johnson won't return this, and the football will come out to the 25. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Here comes another drive from this unit, and Charles, they're coming off a costly mistake on the last possession, an interception in a game that is very close right now. Well, as we know, they all sting no matter what the situation, but in a one-possession game, that'll hurt a little bit more. But this is an excellent opportunity to make up for it on this drive. I just don't expect them to try and take huge gambles to make up that momentum in a hurry. On second and seven, Fields. Finding Bourne here over the middle. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. So now a fresh set of downs. First and 10 after roughing the passer. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Here's Fields. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down, as that was not an easy one to hold on to. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case... And how about this, a fake? And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. So here are the Falcons to take over on offense. They've got the lead as they begin this drive first and 10, trying to forget about that loss last week to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They'll start by running the option to the right. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. On the carry here, it's Austin. And he's got this one across midfield in the 49er territory. Out of the backfield, it's Austin. Shifts by him. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Atlanta. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, a give to Davis. 
63 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. The last run got six. Now second and four. Now a toss to Davis going right. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Newton looking to throw on third and one. He finds his man complete. That's Cook. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. They'll try the right side here with Davis. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. Seven yards on the pick up there, and now they'll have it first and goal. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. They'll try and run four with Davis. Call that a gain of five as the clock ticks inside and two minutes to go now in the third. They'll try to punch it in with Davis. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. And we're going to stop play here at least momentarily. It looks like there's a 49er who's in some discomfort. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. From back at the three now, this is third and goal. They'll look to run with Ingram, and he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Only a yard there, so it brings up fourth and goal. Defense didn't budge on third down. Now what are we going to see on fourth? We are soon to find out, but does this feel like old school football or what, oh, right? Yeah. This is an old-fashioned goal line stand. I know what I would call on offense. I would go for it. I want some type of a play where my quarterback has a chance to run it or throw it. I don't just want one static play. On fourth down, Newton. And he's got his star receiver. It's Jones for the Falcon touchdown. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Falcons will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. Got a touchdown. Here's Koo to kick off. Taking it about the one. Here comes Johnson on the return. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The 49ers offense now. They work their way back onto the field. On first and 10, here's Fields. He's going to get this one down to Cook. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. In this case, he picks up a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Cook up the gut. And space tough to come by there as they get maybe a yard to the 37. And 
as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On second and nine, Fields. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. To throw his fields. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Holding offense. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. On first and 10, Newton. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that's going to bring up second down. Now a handoff to Davis. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Newton now to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. That is an absolute backbreaker. That was a design passing play, wasn't a draw. You think you got him stopped, good coverage downfield, and he's able to pick up the first with his legs. Defensively, that kicks into your psyche and hurts a little bit, doesn't it? It certainly does, and, and here's the thing. Anytime you give up a first down, it hurts you psychologically, but it hurts more when they get it this way because you've covered everything. He didn't have any place to throw the football. He takes off running and picks it up anyway, and now you have to stay on the field for an extra set of downs. And really could have used that stop trailing here in the fourth. How about the job there on the outside? Shed the wide receiver and was able to make the tackle on the perimeter. They'll have to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. They'll keep it on the ground. Austin looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. And now we'll get a stoppage here. There appears to be an injured Falcon on the field. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Going to need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Third and long, it's Newton. And this is caught, but I don't think he stayed in bounds. No, he didn't. It's incomplete. The throw took him past the boundary, and it's fourth. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Nice punt, but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. The San Francisco's offense returns to the field. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. And he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Considering they've seen him have some big gains against him throughout this game, that's got to feel like a measure of revenge as they trap him behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Fields now to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. I like how he hung in there and went through his progressions, but eventually his internal clock went off and told him it was time to make a run for it. And he ends up sliding down with a solid game. 
They'll run it. Here's Cook. Well, this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I, I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the long. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. Here's J.K. Scott now. On, we think, to punt, though he's faked it earlier, but he was unsuccessful. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. Here comes the Atlanta offense now, ready to take over here. They've got a chance now to put this game away following that last defensive stop and punt. On first down, it's Newton. And complete right side to Cook. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. Now Newton on first down. Throw right side caught by Davis. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. On second down, Davis. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Throwing on third down, Newton. Completes it to Austin. And he stopped up short of the first as they tackle him down at about the 36. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down. They just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff. And just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Here's Jackson. A 41-yard punt, nine on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Well, the 49ers settling in for their next drive. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter? run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. From the gun on third down, Fields. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Danny Trevathan. And the Falcons are going to take possession of the football. And here in the fourth quarter, defensively, you know that you're just going to blanket the field with defensive backs and say, OK, take your best shot. And that time, it's intercepted. And we've often seen teams go into the prevent early, way too early. And sometimes they get too soft in their coverages. But not in this case. They understood the situation and played it with the proper aggression. Play action. It's Newton. He'll buy some time right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. They'll wind up losing three there on the sack. Good pressure. And it's second down. 
And of course, that's not an easy man to sack. You know how elusive he can be trying to get outside of the pocket. That was a great play on the defensive side. And I wonder what was going through his mind because he didn't seem as committed to using his legs to pick up yardage. He wanted to keep that play alive, so either take off and go or throw it away. But he held on to the football and ended up getting sacked. So following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. Out of the gun, Newton. This complete to Jones. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Davis, he'll try to run for it. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. They keep it with Davis on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now it's Newton. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. On third down, Davis. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. 96 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll try the air now with Newton. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Davis running left. Showed off the footwork, but still corralled shy of the five at the six. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Now Newton. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. A nightmare on third and goal. He sacked, and multiple players broke through the line to get him. Fourth down, and the attention turns to Falcon kicker Young Way Koo. From the left hash, a 31-yard attempt. Koo knocks this one through the post, and that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final name to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. This fielded right at the goal line, and he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you, an interception's result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. They'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Fields on third down. Open man here is Conklin. And he is going to have a Niners first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. This one to Bourne, and he's got it. 
And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. And we're going to stop play here at least momentarily. It looks like there is a 49er who's in some discomfort. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Now a first down throw. Fields completes it to Davis. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Fields going to hurry his guys to the line. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on the third and three. Fields throwing again. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Crystal foul. Nothing was passed on. Certainly, those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try to rise up and overcome it. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. That's interference. Defense. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. The penalty is declined. And now in a nine-point game, they'll still just need to go for one here. As this gets them back within a touchdown and a two-point conversion. So that drive goes eight plays. And it was Kendrick Bourne who was able to cap things off with a touchdown. So a little under 50 seconds to go. Plenty of time if they can get this onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And... I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road. But there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room. 